In the mid-1970s, the stealth concept was born. The plan was to build an aircraft that had an airframe that deflected or absorbed radar signals so a little as possible was reflected back to the radar unit. This would allow the aircraft to fly nearly undetected, and it would not be possible to attack it with weapons relying on radar for guidance. The designs of the Lockheed A-12 and the SR-71 included several stealthy features, such as canted vertical stabilizers, composite materials and radar-absorbing paint. In 1975 the first stealth designs aided by computer was made. The Advanced Technology Bomber Program began in 1979, and was funded under the code name Aurora. In 1981, the Northrop proposal, codenamed Senior Ice, was selected for development. At first the plan was a high-altitude bomber, but this was changed to a low-altitude terrain following bomber in the mid-1980s. This delayed the first flight of the B-2 by two years. An estimated $23 billion was spent researching and developing the B-2 by 1989. The Northrop B-2 program was a so-called gray project before it was revealed to the public. A gray project meant that more people within the federal government knew of the project than on a black project, but a considerable effort was made to keep the design and technology secret. In 1984, a Northrop employee was arrested for attempting to sell classified information about the project to the Soviet Union. In November 1988 the aircraft was displayed to the public for the first time. The first public flight of the B-2 took place on July 17, 1989. 132 aircraft were planned in the mid-1980s, but was later reduced to 75. When the Soviet Union was dissolved in the early 1990s, President George H. W. Bush limited the production to 20 aircraft. Later, one additional bomber was added by converting a prototype. In 1997, the total cost to procure each B-2 bomber was calculated to $737 million. Including spare parts and software support, the sum was adjusted to $929 million for each aircraft. A number of upgrades has been made to the B-2s. In July 2008 the computing architecture of the aircraft was redesigned. Updates were also made to the weapons control systems, enabling strikes on moving targets. The radar has also been improved, and materials in the wings have been replaced by a new material. In 2012, the Pentagon announced that a 10-year-long modernization of the B-2 fleet was to begin. The Air Force plan to operate the B-2 to 2058 was revised in 2019. Now the retirement is planned to no later than 2032. This decision was made because the B-2s are considered too expensive to retain. It is also planned to be replaced by the B-21 Raider in the mid-2020s. In the Cold War, the B-2 was intended to carry out deep penetrating nuclear strike missions. The aircraft has two internal bomb bays, and is capable to carry 18,000 kilograms of ordnance, including B-61 and B-83 nuclear bombs. After the Cold War, the B-2 was also equipped for conventional precision attacks using GPS-guided bombs. The B-2 can use Mark 82 and Mark 84 bombs, as well as CBU-87 combined effects munitions, Gator mines and the CBU-97 sensor-fused weapon. As of 2012, the B-2 is also the only platform compatible with the massive Ordnance Penetrator Bunker Bomb. The bomber reached initial operational capacity on January 1, 1997. It first saw combat in the 1999 Kosovo War. The bombers accounted for 50 sorties out of the 34,000 NATO sorties, but dropped 11% of all bombs. The B-2 used precision-guided munitions, replacing the carpet bombing tactics in previous conflicts. The aircraft type was also involved in an incident where the Chinese embassy was hit by American bombs, killing several staff. The B-2 also saw service during Operation Enduring Freedom in Afghanistan, where it also flew one of its longest missions to date, taking off from Missouri and returning after the mission. From 2003, B-2s would be stationed in the Middle East, and also participated in the Iraq War, operating from Diego Garcia and an undisclosed forward operating location. In March 2011, B-2s were the first aircraft that entered action in Operation Odyssey Dawn in Libya. Three aircraft flew from the U.S. mainland and dropped 40 bombs on a Libyan airfield, in support of the UN no-fly zone. In January 2017, B-2s operated over Libya again, attacking an ISIS training camp. <laughs>